Hi, you guys. I have not done a pattern haul in so, so, so long. I really have not been buying big four patterns that much, but they recently had a sale where three of the brands were on sale. Uh, McCall's, Butterick, and Vogue were all on sale at Joanne. And every once in a while, I'll say like maybe every six months, my Joanne does not throw away old patterns. So if you go to the very top drawer um, and you can see all of the older patterns that they have there. The thing about this and why I don't do it that often is because those patterns are not in the books anymore. They're not online anymore. So you literally have to go through each one, one by one. And then you have to, like, they don't always have every size. They're not reordering them anymore. It's just kind of like what's left over. And of course, when the pattern company is on sale, like those are on sale too. So I also like to do this and it's happened more recently because um, I have gone from one, the smaller pattern size up to the larger pattern size. I'm still, I'm still in between, but I'm mostly <laughs> in the larger ones now. And so patterns that I loved that I've either made or haven't made, I'll go and get the larger size so that I have both. Other times it's just my style has changed a little bit. So whereas like the patterns from like 2013, like that's how old some of these go back to, I was buying every single fit and flare dress that was ever made, <laughs> but I don't really wear those anymore. And so back then I would just skip over a lot of knits, pants, certainly I wasn't buying. I was kind of afraid of pants. Um, so now that I'm so much more experienced, you know, all these years later, I can go back to those patterns and see them in a new light and have a better appreciation for them. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go through them here. I'm going to tell you which ones are still available and which ones you may or may not have in your store. I'm sure the selection varies from store to store and some stores probably do throw away the old patterns. So you might not have any older ones. My store happens to keep there. So just check your drawers. Okay, all that to say, here's what I got. So I don't know what has possessed me lately, but I am seeing all of these mid-sized girls like myself wearing rib knit skin tight dresses and they look bomb. Like they look so good. And my <laughs> brain has convinced myself that I could look just as good as they do in one. I would never have touched a pattern like this like ever before in my life. I think maybe as I'm getting older, you guys that are in your 40s, you let me know. Am I just like reaching that point in my life where I'm stopping caring? And so I just want to wear things that I want to wear and feeling good and feeling confident in spite of everything that I may see wrong with my body. Is that just some kind of like aging wisdom type thing that I'm going through? That said, I got a few patterns <laughs> that are, fall into this category. The first one is McCall's 8194. Um, I did get the larger size range in this. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to make it. Um, it has set in sleeves, so you could easily make it sleeveless as well. 50% um, stretch knit, so rib knit would be perfect. I want to find one that's not like rayon knit. I want to find one that's like... I know they don't make knit, rib knits that are like compression, but something that's a little bit smoothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, then the other version of one I got was, is that English? Another one that I got, a similar version, oh, whatever, um, M7967. Um, this version here, and this one's a little bit older. Well, 2019, so like three years old. Um, but I really loved this version with the little like ruching here. So cute. I don't know about the bubble sleeve that feels a little bit dated. Um, but just another like figure hugging knit shirt, knit dress. This one's 35% stretch though. So I could use things like double brush poly, um, which has like that kind of smoothing effect that I was referring to with the other one. All right, I've also been buying up a lot of sheet sets at Goodwill. And I know what I want to make them into, but the reason why they haven't been made into anything is because I don't feel like I have the perfect pattern for them. 
One of which is this really cool, like brushed cotton, lightweight flannel, hard to tell exactly what it is. It's white and has blue snowflakes on it. And I instantly saw it and thought pajamas, right? And I knew I wanted to make something similar to the Carolyn pajamas, but you guys, ain't nobody got time for those Carolyn pajamas. I did that twice. I'll never do it again. It's just too much for pajamas. So I think I found a simpler version. That's a good way to put it. Um, in McCall's 6775. This pattern is from 2013. It has the shirt, the pants, and the shorts. And it has the collar like the Carolyn pajamas do. Um, only one sleeve length, but that's very easy to alter. And another cool thing is it has fisheye darts in the back. And you guys know I'm obsessed with fisheye darts. So, I mean, the shorts aren't anything to write about, really. They have, like, the little slits on the side. They're otherwise just elastic waist shorts. The Carolyn's have that cuff. Um, the pants have the cuff detail. So, I wonder how hard it would be to, like, mix and match these hems together. Um, but either way, I think that it is going to be good enough for my Goodwill sheets. Um, next, okay. Hear me out on this. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, girl, you done lost your mind. Um, very, very big trend. And I have a lot of fabrics in my stash that are suitable for <laughs> a vest. Okay? Like a menswear vest. And you guys, take a second. Go look online. Everybody's wearing vests. And I granted these all eight the of these vests are not spectacular i don't know what this is his hair is just taking me to a place that i thought i would never go back to um but in here is a basic vest that you can make from a myriad of fabrics i have so many like menswear fabrics suiting fabrics what am i gonna make those i'm not making a suit i'm not doing that anymore like that life is gone and past so I got this vest pattern. This one, the um, copyright date is 2010. So probably the oldest pattern that I've got here. A 2010 pattern in my drawers in Joanne. Like this has just been through it, right? Like it deserves to come home with somebody. Someone like me who's really going to enjoy um, making something out of it. So be on the lookout for a vest. And styling ideas and all of that from me soon. Vests are back, guys. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Next, we have... What was my plan for this? I feel like this got in by accident. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, this goes back to another Goodwill uh, sheet set that I got. The sheets are, like, full-on flannel. Um, and I wanted to make a shacket. And I know they have shacket patterns out there. Patterns marketed as shackets, like Indie Pattern Companies. But I just thought, pretty sure I could just find a shirt pattern, make it in a couple sizes too big, and wham, bam, thank you, man, you got a jacket. So this was the closest that I could find in the store. Um, this is a 2016 pattern, obviously from McCall's, 7472. And somewhere in, like, this version, the links are a little bit funky. I'll have, you know, I'm not going to do a curved hem or anything like that. But I love that it has a raglan sleeve. And it does not have any darts front or back. Um, it has these patch pockets that's very shackety. Um, and of course the collar and the button band. Um, so there's that. And I mean, I think that where's the short version? Oh, the one she's wearing A. I think A is pretty cute too. It's just like a regular button down shirt. Um, there is something going on with the sleeve on A. I think it has like a tab. Um, so this could get lots of use as well. So that one was fun. All right, this one was inspired by my works in progress pile that I'm going through. I recently drew a project out of my little <laughs> challenge bin um, that was for a skirt that I had started to make and had tons of pleats in it. But I don't know why I didn't finish it back then, um, but it doesn't fit now. So I had to take the waistband off, take all the pleats out. But it is a fabric that I absolutely love. And the fabric is like a lightweight rayon boucle. I don't know what it is. But this uh, picture here reminded me a lot of the fabric. Um, you can see the texture that it has on hers. And because it's so many smaller pattern pieces, 
that goes a long way whenever you are refashioning something um, because you can cut up a little piece of fabric into smaller pieces um, with less fabric to start with. Does that make sense? Not to mention, I just think this top is really cool. Like I love the short sleeve version. This, I'm not so sure about. I could absolutely see myself making this. I feel like this one's not too old. Oh, 2016 also, but 7390. I'm sure some of you guys have these in your stash and they haven't been sewn either. So um, next up, we have a knit like fit and flare. And I think the reason why I was grabbing some of these is because I'm re-wearing my easy flowy knit dresses a lot. I'm reaching for them a lot in my closet right now. And so I thought I should be making more of them. So I got McCall's seven, I'm sorry, six, nine, five, seven. This one's from 2014, an oldie but goodie. But look, this is timeless, right? This does never go out of style. It's an easy to wear knit dress pattern. Um, so I pretty much love all the versions. This one's going to be the hardest one to pull off because as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of knit fabrics are mostly printed on. The pattern is mostly printed on. So the underside is like white and the rest of it is whatever the print is. If I find a uh, knit fabric, it, it's usually like a cotton jersey or something that's solid. Um, that is what I would make this out of because when you look at the underside of a jersey, a solid colored jersey, no print, um, it's the same front and back. So otherwise, though, all those other ones are really suitable for lots of different um, printed knits that I have in my stash. This one, I think I just remember thinking it was cool back in the day and never got it and I don't know why so I got it <laughs> seven five seven five six five this is from 2017 um I think it's still very cool and very trendy now I love the back or is it the sides it's hard to tell like where all that volume is coming from because the line drawings don't really show it either but cool tent dress voluminous cool easy breezy um, I could see myself wearing this a lot in the spring and summer. So, um, next up, I got a sweatshirt pattern because I think that sweatshirts are sticking around. Like this whole luxury leisure thing, um, is a mainstay. And this one was fun because it had a bunch of different options. So, um, I love how they have the pearls that you can sew on. That's so me, right? Like casual glam is just so my thing. But we've got a hood. We've got a band. We've got a high neck turtleneck, a mock neck turtleneck, and then just a regular neck band as well. And then you have options for adding a little bit of fringe here. Super fun. Um, and this is a contrast sleeve, also super fun. So a lot of different options with this one. So I thought I would add it to my stash. I have a few like sweatshirt, sweatery type patterns, um, but having another one I didn't think would be like one too many, you know? I'm not to that point quite yet. All right, and then finally, finally, I got this. I remember when this came out last year, right? Is that what this is? 2020, yeah. Um, I remember going over this in the first impression video and loving the back of this dress and for whatever reason just never got it like I said I wasn't really like called to buy patterns a lot lately and lately I mean the last two or three years so this one just never made it home with me but it's got all the things right I love these lifestyle patterns where it has a dress a jumpsuit a jacket is that it dress jumpsuit jacket um women's jacket sash dress yeah all the things and so obviously you can make pants from the jumpsuit shorts from the pants um you can make a romper from the jumpsuit skirt from the <laughs> dress you know what I mean like you can hack this and to, uh, to have every single pattern you want so I felt like it would be a good way to get uh, a lot of bang for the buck because this was two dollars for all these patterns and before the sun completely sets here on us, I mean, look how dark it is in the back. Um, that is it. Those are all the patterns that I got from the McCall's Butterick Vogue sale at Joanne. I'm going to do the thing where I go through the older drawers. Um, next time, Simplicity, Quick Sew, all that stuff goes on sale. But um, you guys go check out your drawers and see what they have from, you know, as many as 12 years ago. 
11, 12 years ago. So um, hopefully your Joanne has some and then you can find some timeless classic patterns that haven't gone out of style yet. And if, honestly, if they're not having gone out of style yet, they're not gonna. Um, but that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.